Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe if you like, and if you like, press the like button and share. That would be awesome, and I appreciate it so much. Well, Biden claims Queen that passed away reminded him of his mother, but facts say no. While in London for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II's number two, Queen Elizabeth II funeral, President Biden claimed that the Queen reminded him of his mother. That isn't the first time old Joe made this claim. In 2021, while in the UK for the G7 summit, Biden said the same thing to reporters after he and Jill Biden met with the Queen of Windsor Castle. But according to a February 2022 article in The Guardian, Joe Biden once talked about how much his mother despised Queen Elizabeth II. According to the article, uh, Georgia Pritchett, the former executive producer of HBO's comedy VEP, V-E-E-P, VEP, said Biden had once told her that his mother hated England so much that she once slept on the floor of her hotel room rather than risk sleeping in the same bed in which Queen Elizabeth II had previously slept. Oh, apparently old Joe wanted to play up his Irish roots in his discussion with Bridget, who is British, but he encountered the time his Irish mother stayed in a UK hotel where the Queen once stayed. So appalled by the fact that the queen had stayed there, Joe claimed his mother chose to sleep on the floor just in case the bed the queen slept in was the one in her room. My goodness. Unless Joe Biden thinks the queen was an embittered old hag who would go to such extraordinary heights or lengths to inconvenience herself out of a personal grievance, how exactly does Queen Elizabeth II remind him of his mother? Good question. <laughs> oh my, oh my. I tell you what now. Well, here's one. Let's see. Ron DeSantis sets record for Fox News mentions. And let's see here. Brian Stetler. Stiller. S T E L T E R. Stilter may no longer have a job at CNN, but that doesn't mean the cable network isn't still obviously monitoring what happened on its top-rated competitor, Fox News. During the CNN newsroom last weekend, CNN's Harry Eaton revealed that in the last six months, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis had been mentioned on Fox News 1,021 times nearly as often as former President Donald Trump. Can you imagine sitting and counting all the times one person is mentioned on a 24-hour cable news network? Seriously, Harry, get a life. <laughs> Harry Eaton told CNN Newsroom anchor Paula Brown that DeSantis flying 50 illegal aliens to Martha's Vineyard has elevated his national profile and brought him a lot of airtime on Fox. <laughs> Eaton concluded that this is crucial for any Republican considering a run for president in 2024. He said DeSantis getting 1,021 mentions on Fox News as the last six months puts him far ahead of the other possible Republicans 2024 candidates so far, except for former President Donald Trump who has been mentioned on Fox News more than DeSantis. So Fox News mentions the two mostly likely 2024 GOP candidates a lot. That's not news. Eaton noted that the other possible GOP candidates like Nikki Haley, Ted Cruz, or Mike Pence aren't mentioned nearly as much as DeSantis and Trump. Yes, because the others don't have a snowball chance in hell of winning the 2024 nomination. What, 
What's more, none of them are doing as much as Ron DeSantis to generate news. Well, that's a good point there. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. I tell you what. What would you call that? I don't know. Nitpicking? I guess that would be a good name for it. They're just nitpicking. Yeah. Now, these 82 Democrats are calling foul on election results. Now, I hope I haven't done this article. Uh, I guess I'm not going to get to do it. No. Well, there we are. Just the News compiled a comprehensive list of all the Democrats who could be subscribed as election deniers. D-E-N-I-E-R-S, deniers, deniers. In total, Just the News found 82 Democrats who at one time or another questioned the legitimacy of elections. Among those listed are presidential losers Hillary Clinton and John Kerry. Also included are Presidents Joe Biden, Bill Clinton, and Jimmy Carter. The list also cites various current and former Democrat lawmakers, and all of these Democrats at one point questioned the legitimacy of elections, including the 2000, the 2004, and 2016 presidential elections, as well as the 2018 gubernatorial, gubernatorial election in Georgia. Gubernatorial. My goodness, what kind of word is that? <laughs> okay, well, whatever. All also included in the list are Democrat lawyer Mark Ellis, Speaker Pelosi's daughter Christine, and Vice President Kamala Harris, staffer Jamon Simons, losing candidates Andrew Gilliam, Florida, Stacey uh, Abrams, Georgia, Jesse Jackins in the White Jackson and his wife and the wife of John Kerry, Teresa Hines Kerry. The list also includes current Biden administration officials Ron Klain and Karen Jean Pierre. Have I been saying that right? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm feeling better, people. Not quite there yet, but I, I'm getting back on track. The comprehensive list includes a Pacific statement or statements made by each Democrat in which they question the election results, object to certifications of electoral votes, or claim his election was stolen or illegitimate. In other words, all the hot-button terms these Democrats now claim are proof a person is an election denier, den denier were at one time or another said by these Democrats. Okay, I didn't know all them people were involved in this election. Yeah, well, by the way, today I phoned and uh, got to the audit department in the courthouse here, and I asked for my uh, voter's card, so they're going to be sending me some papers, and I've got to fill them out. Every election, you've got to make them new. They don't keep the old ones. So uh, then I can fill out my, my uh, deal when I get it, and uh, who I choose. So this is about it here, I think. Okay, let's put that down. Let's try this one. Okay, I got them lined up here, folks. I've been working. Sick or not, I've been working. <laughs> Getting them all lined up. But now, didn't I just give this one? Yes, I did. Yeah, the 82 Democrats who at one time another question. Yeah, okay, I've already did that one. All right, let's put that one down. Oh, Putin, here we go. Here we go. You know, he's really becoming irate. I mean, it's getting very, very, very scary. It, it's just U.S. warns Moscow catastrophic consequences if it uses... Uh, nuclear weapons in Ukraine. 
the U.S. sent a clear warning to the Kremlin on Sunday, saying that catastrophic and decisive actions will occur if Russia uses tactical or strategic nuclear weapons in its war with Ukraine. That's going to put us right in the middle of everything, isn't it? Please let me know. Leave me a comment. The Biden administration said it has taken Russia's President Vladimir Putin's nuclear warnings deadly seriously. Well, yeah, you should. Why don't you keep your damn nose to America and forget about other countries? Oops, sorry, that wasn't in there. That's my own thought. Sorry, it just popped out. Putin had recently warned that the country's vast nuclear arsenal may be in play. Speaking on NBC's Meet the Press, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan declared that if Russia were to cross the nuclear line, there would be severe consequences. He added that the U.S. would respond decisively. Well, people, where does that leave us? He was not pacific as to exactly what the American reaction would entail. Well, of course not scare the pee right out of every one of us, but we know what would happen. We're not stupid. But did not note that more detail was laid out in private channels. Oh, isn't that cute? They don't want us to know a thing, do they? Well, no, because we would panic. No kidding. But there's no, there's no hope in running anywhere. Where would we run? You can't run nowhere when that gas is released from those nuclear bombs. It'll just wipe wipe us all out it's just like I thought and I don't know if I said it or not but Biden's trying to get us killed and I know I said that part but uh, the the devastation what is wrong with him mm. oh I get oh he said that Moscow must hear from us that the consequences would be horrific he like Solomon also described the results as catastrophic yeah. Why do they want to get rid of us? Has that come to your mind yet, the reason why? Is it so China and Russia can take over? I mean, China's already started because Biden's selling our farmland already to China. And China's already threatened us let alone Russia. And what about Iran? Iran's involved in that, isn't it? And there's another country that's involved against us. That's got to be the whole thing in a nutshell right there. They just want to ruin us, kill us, and take our land. Period. This sounds like an Old West story, don't it? Maybe I should write a book. Huh. <clears throat> Probably wouldn't live long enough if one of them bombs was let go to even get it published. Putin in recent days announced a partial mobilization to strengthen Russia's Russian forces and is pressing ahead on referendums within loosely controlling areas of the Ukraine. In the Duntisk and Luhansk regions, now I don't know if I pronounced those right, that Luhansk is L U H A N S K regions. Luhansk. And that Duntesk is D O N E T S K. They put a lot of S K's on the end of the words, don't they? Voting on being annexed by Russia ends this week. Oh my God, today's Friday. This action is, if passed, would give the Kremlin the pretext it believes it needs to defend what is considered its own territory. Indeed, Russia Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov emphasized last week and that the regions, if they are annexed, would receive the full protection of the state. That must be Sergei. S-E-R-G-E-I Lavrov L-A-V-R-O-V uh, this is presumably by any means deemed necessary. In a rare tele televised address last week, 
Putin denounced, I must have missed that one. I wonder how I missed it. Well, that was televised. Probably didn't get to the internet. But mostly all that does. Hmm. Putin denounced what he called the nuclear blackmail of the West and accused his enemies trying to provoke the Kremlin. He then warned of the vast nuclear arsenal his nation possesses. Lord God help us all. Why are we even in it? We have no business in it. <clears throat> Sorry. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, and that's V O L O D Y M Y R, Zelensky, told CBS's Face the Nation that he does not believe that Putin is bluffing. Well, I don't either. Nobody in their right mind would say, ah, oh, he's just bluffing. Ha! Huh. No. He's not bluffing. The president said that the Russian leader wants to scare the whole world. What I just say? And that these are the first steps of his nuclear blackmail. Folks, I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to tell you. Well, I'm going to take a little break. And I'm going to look up a couple more information uh, articles if I can find them and um, say your prayers stay safe God bless check for drugs and anybody you meet family friends children their friends anybody check for the pupil dilation argumentative just unusual, what do I want to say, activities that they might be trying to get into because you may save a life. I'll be back later. Love you. Bye. So long. I don't like saying goodbye. So long, everybody. I'll be back. I'm going the wrong way.